Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. In this video, we're going to look at the intricacies of AutoMake and AutoConf and what happens behind the scenes. Um, let's get going. The main idea of a build system is to build things in order from code to binary using a script. Yes, of course, you can use the command line tools to build your binary. But what that means is every time you change your code, you have to repeat the same commands in the same order, which is pretty hard to do and it's um, quite error prone. If you have a script, on the other hand, uh, you can also control dependencies, which means that uh, the, the build system that you have will only build the parts that require recompiling. Let's take a look at this example. Let's say that we have a main.cpp file, which depends on a helper library, helper uh, underscore library. This is a C++ example, but it can be generalized to other languages as well. And the helper library uh, does something very simple, and it also depends on a mat library called mat underscore uh, library that's h. And the mat library does absolutely nothing. Uh, this is just for an example. Um, in order to build our binary, we have to build things in order. First, we built the mat library, and the output is libmat.so. It's the naming convention for a shared library in Linux. Then we built the helper library, libhelper.so, using libmat.so and helper library's code. Finally, we built our main executable using libhelper.so and the main uh, CPP. If we want to use the command line tools to build this binary, these are the commands that we have to type in. And we have to do them one by one, and we have to do them in the same order. Or we could just use the make file, the make build system. Then we have this nice tidy file with rules, and all we have to do is type make main, and we have our binary. With a build system, we get other goodies as well. For example, we can create and package our binary and install it to the user's computer with a few commands. We can run tests with the build system and we can also create documentation with our build system. Let's take a quick look at the make build system. In here, we need to write a manual file called make file with uh, some rules on it. Usually one or two rules is enough, but in order to have all the goodies of a build system, we need to write more than one or two rules. That increases the amount of work that we have to do. We also need to modify rules and variables for each platform that we're gonna run our build system in. A C++, um, compiler is different on one computer than the other one. Uh, but instead of manually writing this file, we can just use a tool to create make files automatically, which brings us to AutoMake and AutoCom. It was invented by David McKinsey in 1991. McKinsey was just tired of modifying his make files for each platform that he was compiling his code for. So he came up with this idea to create a configure script which configures the make files according to the system setup. AutoMake and AutoConf has organically grew over the last two decades, and most of the open source C, C++ projects use it to distribute code nowadays. So since it grew over time, the design has become very intricate with lots of details. And you probably just want a simple build system for your project since you don't want yet another opportunity to have bugs. Let's look at how AutoMake and AutoConf works. You need to have configure.ac, a manually written file, and makefile.am in every directory that you're going to compile code for. Then you run AutoConf on your configure.ac to get your configure file. This is automatically created. Then you run AutoMake on makefile.am that you've created to get makefile.ins. So these files are automatically produced. And then we run automatically produce configure script on automatically produce make file ins to create automatically produced make files. So there is a little bit of redundancy in here. And it's a pretty convoluted design. And it doesn't stop there. The auto make file also reads to configure.ac. So there is no modularity. And also configure.ac has to know about all the make file AMs that you've created. And not only that, you need to also run another script called AC local to get some scripts for configure.ac. You have to run automake actually with a flag to create another file to compute dependencies. And then there's this other file you can write manually, config.h.in, which you can feed into configure, which will produce config.h, which can tell your code about the configuration of the build system. While this is quite complicated, good luck. 
Thanks for watching again and have a nice day.